the cat who declared peace. One day, a pheasant who was pecking its seeds in a clearing heard a rustling in the undergrowth. He scanned the pale yellow grass and mottled green shrubbery, but could see nothing threatening. Keeping calm and continuing his pecking, he began to edge towards the nearest tree. He hopped casually with a flutter of wings to its lowest branch, and then to another slightly higher one, and so on upwards until he was safely above whatever lurked below. From his perch, he quickly perceived a white tail tip waving above a clump of grass. The pheasant waited, and presently a beautiful young female cat bounded playfully into the clearing, all innocence and delight. Where have you gone, O oh beautiful bird? she cried, looking all around and then upward. Ah, there you are. I was hoping to talk to you. Please join me for a moment, will you? No, thank you, replied the pheasant. I'm perfectly happy just where I am. But why? asked the cat, sitting down. We have important matters to discuss. Surely you have heard of yesterday's great progress for peace meeting, the conference for the eternal concord of all animals. No, I can't say that I have, pleasantly answered the pheasant. But it was announced everywhere, said the cat with surprise. Universal peace has been declared among the beasts. It is the sine qua non to modern survival. Ipso facto, we must all work together in harmony. I see, said the pheasant, feigning interest. He spied a boy and his hound through the leaves and branches beyond the line of saplings in the distance, walking towards them. He fluttered down a branch in a great flurry of feathers. And have all the dogs, he asked, join this beautiful pact. Indeed, they have, declared the cat, smiling up at the bird, which paused to consider for a moment, and then flapped down yet another branch. Indeed, they have, declared the cat, smiling up at the bird, which paused to consider for a moment, and then flapped down yet another branch. Are you saying that I came to the ground, pursued the pheasant? I would be perfectly safe if a dog came out of the bushes. Indubitably, declared the cat, purring upward. He wouldn't chop off my tail feathers. Definitely not, insisted the cat. The peace pact was validated by all dog leaders. Well, said the pheasant, hopping down yet another branch. This is indeed welcome news, something everyone has been waiting for for a very long time. Yes, what an excellent opportunity for you and I to... As the cat unconsciously retracted and extended her claws, her tail tip quivering tensely, the hound announced his arrival with a happy bark. The cat shot off, the dog gave chase, and the boy ran after the dog. The pheasant hopped back to the top of the tree to watch the unfolding scene. Presently, the boy returned, pulling his dog by its collar. And 20 or so minutes later, the bedraggled cat reappeared. Did Auntie Cat, the pheasant called from the top of the tree, have a pleasant walk with Uncle Dog? It must have been a wonderful opportunity to discuss our new era of universal peace.